parameters should. It is the physical parameters. Uh, so now we look at physical parameters. The blue is the baseline reading and we look at baseline reading 0.68 and 0.65. That shows uh, very strong, uh, strong activity. There are some areas predominantly like the sacral part of the spine over there which uh, is in hyper function state. We can see part of the digestive system over here part of uh, the endocrine field then you see the spleen and this is respiratory system what we saw mm -hmm. the uh, the spots uh, when I we come back over here let's look at uh, uh, the width with 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 filter and we will see very uh, uh, so see when we look at this you see that blast going out that's congestion in the system congestion congestion uh, congestion in the in the bronchial tract mm -hmm. So not deep enough breathing. That's so uh, because I'm at this altitude right now. Odd <laughs> altitude. When we go, when we look at us from space, does this mean anything? I mean, it's not even a blurb of a line. <laughs> well, so, higher, higher altitude, so, I have a harder time walking up hills. So, so it, no, it is now to really pay attention. This is important because I can share from my own personal, and I'm sure Dr. Byrne can share the same thing too. When we first moved here, one of the important uh, uh, observations that I really paid attention to was what yogis used to tell me. Living in the Himalayas, they come down to sea level and what? No big deal. No big, why? You just rearrange your system. So you be, be attentive to your breathing. So the moment you become attentive to your breathing and of course you know the importance of water. Huh? And he said, drink coconut water when you can because coconut water is considered next to mother's milk, we know, no? And in India, is plenty, coconut water is plentiful. So, he said, pay attention. And the moment you begin to pay attention to your, to your cyclical fields that we call the ANS, mm -hmm. then we are no longer subjecting to extraneous or external situations, mm -hmm. but we are redirecting it to our inner state mm -hmm. and how we then can transform our outer world. But to share this, I will... Uh, Paramahamsa Yogananda talks about this so wonderfully because he said people say they are hot and cold. Mm. One day if they go to cold climates or the temperature goes a little, they say they are cold. And we see there's something similar. What is, what is the common ground over here? We have electrical outlets. We can plug an air conditioner in, we can plug a heater in. And if that electrical current is the same current that flows and we are the ones who brought this current together into this format then don't you think that we also have the capacity to rewrite this hot and cold information inside of us <laughs> which is what it did which is what yogis do which is what adepts do so which is what tesla did and he just brought it out into the world that is what we can benefit from our rearranging so the the aspect of the higher altitude come more direct yourself more into the center and we can see from the area of your chakras uh, that already that strength was already present within you it shows that that strength is already present within you and if the and if the use the application of the electrolytes to which is a field that you are fully immersed in is supportive and beneficial then it can rearrange our, our conceptual practices to which we may have been uh, I'll use this word because it's very pertinent that uh, we, we, uh, we don't need mollycoddling here we, need to, we don't need to atrophy in our, own, in our thoughts that have let's say proven to be effective to a certain point but we need to rearrange them in its totality so that not a speck of it can even cause any calcification. Do you agree yes, to that? Yes, yes, yeah. Thoughts are things, basically. Uh -huh. Yes. With your thoughts. Mm -hmm. 